Well, considering it's the start of the season, it seems fitting to catch up with Kevin Morris from Stard. Kevin, lovely to see you here at Lydon Hill. We were expecting to see electric supercars, but unfortunately, that's not the case. Uh, unfortunately, that is the, that is the case. Um, no, we had very big uh, aspirations to have electric cars here this weekend. Uh, as a company, we'd allocated uh, four cars to the series. Uh, we've worked really closely with Pat and his team at Five Nations to actually be here and, and try and take part. A lot of work behind the scenes to make that happen. Um, but unfortunately, there's a number of factors that have led to that not happening at this point. Um, and, you know, those, those factors are, are, are manifold, unfortunately, whether it be the current climate in terms of economic situation or the fact that we're still actually suffering elements of this uh, terrible pandemic. But, um, you know, we're, we're committed to this series, um, hence the reason why I'm here today, because I want to make sure that everybody is aware that Star will endeavour to be here for the following rounds with cars. Um, we've got a great product um, and we've got a great series to take part in. And uh, we know that people have an interest in, in electric. It's just going to take a little bit of time, a little bit more education and a little bit of more. Well, let's see what happens but certainly that's that's the situation. Well, it is lovely to see you here at the paddock in the season opener, and I'm glad to hear that you have said that hopefully this will happen sometime this season. So I guess it's a lot of talking around the table at the moment for you. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, I mean, we're still talking with initial people that were interested in taking part at this weekend. I mean, as you may be aware, uh, we were looking at a, a, a really nice team concept with Natalie Barrett, the current Project E champion and so Chris Hoy taking part in the cars. That's still something that we're working on. Um, unfortunately, Natalie's not been very well of late, so that's kind of shell things a little bit. Um, but we're also working with, uh, or talking with other people that have an interest to be part of the series. Uh, and we'll keep following that up. And, and again, one of the reasons why I'm here today is to, um, is to answer these questions, uh, but also talk to everybody that I can about starred ERX cars because it is the future and it is going to happen. Well, I was going to say that because it's such an exciting era of motorsport going electric, isn't it? It is. Um, I mean, there's, there's a lot of people that are still uh, need to understand exactly what it really means in terms of electric. Yes, we're doing away with one of the things the fans really do love, and that's the noise. But when we look at the teams and the drivers, there's fantastic driving pleasure. I mean, I think that's probably been demonstrated by Liam's running the car here a few weeks ago. Um, but also from a cost, of, cost perspective, the actual running costs of running electric compared with a thermal car are around 60% cheaper. Now, if I said that to any of these guys in the paddock, do you want to save 60% next year? They'd all be jumping, but we just have to get that message across to them. And that's really what we need to do today. So I guess to sum up, it's a case of watch this space, right? Absolutely, definitely. <laughs> Wish you all the best. Thanks for Thank joining us. Thank you very us. much for your time. Cheers.